available for him. Cleared the dart. Sheriff at the ready for Carpy, but it gets dropped immediately, and Mako kicks things off in perfect fashion for DRX. Excurit will try to stabilize with the Cascade, but he's so low on health, 15 HP. Saya player now with the Sheriff. He'll try to find a timing as the opponents on DRX have already gone through the stairs. Excurit just trying to stay alive. He just wants to buy time until his teammates arrive, but Saya player can't land a shot, a single one onto Buzz, and Foxy9 will get another. Dwindle down the numbers. DRX, they're just not giving him an angle at all. Look at where Bane is tucked away right behind that crate. Already taking a little bit of damage to Rossi, not much at all. Buzz just tagging him up for a few hit points. Yeah, look at that reposition from Buzz as well. Just goes in between the pyramids. Doesn't want to give that long range sight line to the Sheriff. And Bane into Pacific. Curious to see kind of what data they were looking at to rejuvenate this. We'll see if they can make it happen as the Marshal awaits the drone. Not going to spot him in time, but oh the TP God. in. And it's going to be Izu who gets the first kill. Bane trying to get another as he pushes out onto the site. Now everyone corralled out on the backside of the pyramids. Buzz finds a timing as he swings back out, trying to expand their territory here for DRX in the post plant. Izu, he's been noted, low on health. Maku finishes. it. Yeah, Buzz very low, so if they want to carry over as much as he can. Maybe send someone else first as everyone already took a lot of damage on their armor and it is going to be stacked. So peeks out, gets a kill. He'll open up some space for the rest of his teammates. Zaya player, Here. he wants to check. They have no information on the side of T1 right now. They need to push out for contact, but he's checking the wrong corner and it's a swing out from Buzz as well. They thought it was a further back shot and it was, but little did they know the Jet holding close, sight broken open. And now T1 on their first buy round, down to three Spike members planted. already. Now the discipline and the reads have been so good for DRX. Uh, they'll approach the site itself. Cascade to cut off that angle, but it's going to be Bane who tags him a little oh bit. My. Forces Excure to just stand there, wait for another Last peek out. Standing. And look at this, just the ping pong back and forth in the aggro. And DRX looks like they never lost a beat, even with Bane entering. As the flash comes out, Bane gets the last kill. Set up for Carpe. Yeah, but now it's a dimensional drift. Now he hasn't checked both sides yet. Carpe still hit it, but Buzz is ready for it as they did spot Excure it as well. So DRX, well aware of the potential push out with something like that on the high tide. Sight taking over. The perfect timing of the ultimate as well for the cycle for DRX. Dimensional drift now against the eco, and then they'll have other ultimates cycling through in the next couple of rounds. Meanwhile, Foxy9 on the lurk. I mean, using the eco round to start this type of conditioning is huge as Rossi gets one kill from afar. Plants easy and close, but it's still just, just gets pinged, waiting for Saya to go for the trades. Spike is taken down, so at this point, just looking to do some damage on the economy of DRX, but look at their friends. They're not going to be too sad one way or another, as he will actually finish off all the kills. Mako one point away from the Viper's pit. Yeah, just in case there are half armors, we'll see if it comes into play at all. So it's just going to be a pinch onto A from the metal door, and it's going to be Buzz high up above. Meanwhile, Foxy Knight oh takes out one kill in the middle of the map. Excurit will hold strong, and Carpe swinging out as well. Sprays for a bit too long, gives Mako a chance to recover. Bane finds one, can't land the shot onto Rossi. Has to get the gate crash. Mako down, Bane catches one, gate crash out. Now Spike still a little ways away, but Izu has not heard the TP. Bane's just looking for it, and he finds the target! Izu, no idea about the... But it's one too many people. Going drone just to confirm. DRX, they will just go ahead and show the double peak. Force T1 to back off. They planted Izu in mid. Mako, he's aware of it, but he swings right into the crosshairs. There's a gate crash out. Still able to hold that mid angle. Meanwhile, DRX, they're trying to win out in halls, and they will be. <laughs> Oh this is boy. so tricky. Yeah, right there with that yeah. trap wire as well. But he's not watching the right side. He's not aware of the arches, and it's just a bit too late. Seconds left. He's too distracted by the trap wire. And Stax will get the kill. Foxy9 once again planted, gets information about the swing around from arches. Stewart, he's going to fire the clone, and T1, they are just getting distracted by everything. He's fighting their own demons, shooting at everything but the players of DRX. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting distracted. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you're absolutely right. Well put. I, I yeah. And it, after a T1 that maybe, maybe they can find some value out of. The Hunter's Fury, if you can get a ping, you get a free kill potentially. No lockdown to worry about, so certainly something to consider. I mean, you see how confident they are. Oh, but look at this. Wow. My Not checking for Saya on that jump through. Stack's just yeah. going to barely miss that. That cuts off Already me. cleared out. A main. They're starting to push that out on the minimap by Excurit. Jeez, Buzz, this is so aggressive. The jet, and he gets the shot right through the poison cloud as well. 
dwindles down the numbers. They still got 50 seconds. Trying to fake the rotate, cuts audio, and looking to creep in once again. Yeah. Now the rifle in the hands of Buzz. This is when the entry happens. But the same angle held by Izu. This could be everything. No, Mako swings out. And DRX, they fan out, but the remaining members of T1, they'll dwindle down remaining. the numbers. Carpe good for two. And now Foxy9, he has to clean up the site. It's a 1v2, 30 seconds. He has to recover the spike first. Euro then, but only 10 HP and all the way from... It's a good attempt. Now Stax has Hunter's Fury of his own to kind of counter. Usually, you're going to see that be more of a post plan idea for DRX. Typically, but that's pure. It's so far out. Izu going to lurk and gets oh, Foxy. Swings out. Foxy Knight not quite ready for it. Wanted to check Nest first. So now the counter dimensional drift. They'll take that Q to try to push in. The Cove denying that flash. Bane will take over the Cove for the time being. But they're now trapped inside. It's good. Only good for one kill. Bane will stabilize. He flashes out of the toxic screen. Gate crashes back out. Izu, meanwhile, spike drops the spike a. away from DRX. 40 seconds on the clock. The gate crash to try to create a crossfire. But Rossi. Might be aware of it. He's up standing. far. He gets one kill, checks for the TP, and then swings right back out after confirming that the Euro should still be in main. This now time, they're more comfortable to seed it over. Gate crash way back. Contest A main. Leave Izu and out if B is going to be the hit. And it looks like the op just wanted to set up on A main. DRX, though, they might have a read on this. And it's a quick push in. Buzz right up above. Gets both trying to anchor down on the site. Izu, he's providing backup, but he might just be a little too late. He has to stay alive all alone. Goes for the flashes to buy time. Finds a third. He is able to get that kill. Now only two members left alive. Finds another. They still don't know about Mako's position, but Izu might be well aware. That's a triple for him. Stays alive. Spike drop. Boxing nine answer back. Tough situation for him. Carpe right over there. Sees the head. Sees the head. He finally notices it. A little bit shaky, but will secure the kill, not taking too much damage. Still just not quite sure. Did this Euro leave? Is he back? So many angles to check. And Saya will make the call if Foxy9 ever crosses over. Foxy9 finds him at long range. Saya's just not looking left. for it. Perhaps looking around, trying to clear the other side of the pillar. And now Izu, the mind games. It's already been 20 extra seconds. Is Foxy9 well aware Cage of the possibility? The There's a cyber cage. He taps it. Cage but he's just spike. gonna wait. He's gonna start to push forward. Gate crash used. Is it going to be a fake? Is it going to be a TP? The mind games are on board. He's actually gonna TP over Foxy9. He's trying to read that it's a fake. He's trying to clear all the possibilities now that he knows it's not the peak, but Izu will get the quad. And the rookie shines once again for T1. So he brings over a third round, looking for the Operator first. Yeah, just what an insanely brilliant round here. Operator set up on A main once again. A jump peak. He gets spotted. What? He dashes forward a little bit. He gets body blocked by his own teammate. But Izu will go for the trade. Strives to stabilize this round. They have to win it out, if anything, but for Saya. And they will. And they should be able to recover the Operator. There with the utility. But DPR can just push the pace. Yeah, they're just going to go for the five man push once again into the site with the Blade Storm already planted on the site. Bane gets one kill. And it's going to be a jump over from Buzz. Trying to get above. He's trying to get the right click and misses the Saiya player. Waits for the shorty, but it's going to be a quick swing around as we see DRX open the site. Foxy9 available for the lurk if they need it. Seven. Now one member pinged out the Cove use to try to get at least to the half. It's not right in the pitch just yet. They're right um, outside of it. They're not quite sure of it. They're checking for the spam, and he actually gets the defuse. DRX. A crew. Dimensional drift for Izu. Here. I'm like immediately looking. I'm like, is there another Hunter's Fury available for Carpe? <laughs> not yet. Not yet, but he spots pretty much everybody here from DRX. He wants to challenge Foxy9. Shuts him down, rookie for rookie. Saya player, Blade Storm out. He needs to stay alive. The dash out for wow. Buzz. And Saya says, sit right back down on the ground. As we see Bane now trying to chase forward. He's the drone for Stacks as he gets two kills. That's the third for the round. Izu now. But it's three members. Rossi now arriving on the site. Izu. Baited by the decoy for just a bit. Stacks three, the reload, but it's just finishing in time. And now all three members of DRX will be set up for the post plant in A main. Tagged already for Izu, the crowd chanting for the IGL to get his moment in the spotlight. Oh God. And oh goodness, it is the last round of the half. He'll try to find him. He knows he's TP'd and Izu just staying alive. The round surely lost. There's the snake bite to secure it. And a seven. 
just going to be Oof. holding Pat. And Rossi takes a lot of damage. Yeah, 30 seconds from left. Tunnel. It's going to be a dash in. Checks for Bane, oh. but they haven't cleared Foxy9 just yet. Oh, yeah. He's only good for one. Izu, gate crash all the way into the site. He'll get a double. Opens up the site for his team. Excure it. He can't finish the kill, but stacks all the way down to 10 HP. Oh. Izu with a third as well. The rookie from T1 trying to claim his place in stage one as he gets a fourth. Can he get the ace now this time? The crowd chanting for it once again, and it's the ace for Izu. The future. Yeah, just, I was curious if DRX was going to try some kind of forced push off the back of that tap. They waited a little bit. Look where Rossi's gotten. Oh, oh no. DRX is aware of this, oh. though. They just swarm him all the way on the bridge. Bulldog picked up. Saya player, he has to defend the spot. He has to stay alive. It's oh. just a no-scope at range. Back-scoped in. The Bulldog comes out, and it's going to be Saya player putting down stacks as well. Only find a better angle. Kill. Just attack on a Carpe. Carpe just bounces it around. Oh, yeah, just buying time for Excurit, it seems. It's going to be the flank around. Excurit will get another point towards his reckoning as well. Quite aware of how this high tide's been used by T1. Saya knows he has an opening. He's got a timing. Does he see it? But it's the swing out from Stax. Still suspects it. Uh, all on his lonesome as well. So now T1, not too many options. Trying to consider if you want to use the dimensional drift or not. Trying to get some information, but he's way too out in the open. A bit of a Hail Mary there with the decoy. And now everybody getting spotted. Extrude will still thin the numbers, but that Cloud Burst has an opening, and Buzz and Mach will use it to perfection. Extrude trying to do just a bit more damage. If he can take down Buzz, down to 35 HP, three bullets left. That would be enough for some happiness on the side of T1, but DRX will stabilize with three Vandals carried over. Yeah, I see switches sides of the map over towards A, setting up those traps and other things there. It's a fast push, but the pop flash, he's looking down at the ground at Saya. Basically, would have to regain, it seems. Yeah. So while the economy okay, they weren't sure of the lurks, they will the better find. of them. Saya just outplaying them. So, you know, Stax does it him one round, the next round he's ready to just turn oh, it as well. A lot of investment from DRX, they would surely want a bit more damage. Now, they are fairly well aware, but there's a great Ooh, angle. Off. Reckoning in Stax. right on Stax. He pushes in, he's trying to find a what? timing, and he sprays down for Fight one, down. but it stops them all together, and they're gonna have to swarm through the Poison Cloud. Buzz, he's surrounded, can't quite land a kill to finish it off and dwindle the numbers. Now Mako already on site, he finds one, but Saya player with one HP is able to swing. The box. He has his eyes trained on main and doesn't look like it. He's not thinking about it. Excure finds him. That's another point back towards another reckoning. And T1, the thing to try to set up. T1, they don't want to give an inch. They don't want to give timings here for the setup. They check for the decoy with the recon as well. That's two quick kills and T1 looking very comfy. If DRX want this round, Buzz is going to have to pull some of his off-season heroics with the Blade Storm to try to tie things up against T1. But for the time being, Izu trying to shut down any sort of curveball as well as Buzz dashes right into his death. Foxy 9, again, the last one alive, but very different circumstances. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, again, but not really going to be that important for a couple rounds, most likely. Boy, it's a fast hit again, right above the trap wire as well. Foxy Knight just trying to stay alive. You do have the backup from me, but he's been spotted around the corner. The flashes, it's not good enough as Izu and Saya player, they swarm on I Stax getting a little bit of damage, I think, to Saya there. That's a really good snake bite, but Saya able to step just outside of it after the plant. Revealing area. See if it can be cleared in time. Actually doesn't catch anybody from that position. Yeah, it's going to be Excurit still spotted though on that peak from Mako. Meanwhile, we're going to see Buzz. He finds what? the shot on Tarasi. Now a 2v2. The op's One still online. Remaining. He's trying to find a kill. Stacks will do one of the numbers. It's all up to Saya, but he's only got 41 HP. He wants to isolate the fight. He gets remaining. one. He knows that Buzz has the op. Trying to go for the dash with the classic. Doesn't want to give an opportunity to Buzz. Thinks he would have approached a lot sooner. But Buzz awaits patiently. And it will be... Buzz getting the defuse. Oh my. Buzz, that shot on Arasi. Sent over Not just in case. Oh boy, he's approaching. Both sides approaching, and they feel like it's been enough inside wow. out of timing off of the flash. He goes for the blind yeah, shot, takes way. down DRX's operator, and there's an absolutely clear updraft from the blaze storm, trying to open it up, but still a 3v3. DRX are holding strong, secured on the lurk, will take down Mako, makes the site just a bit weaker. Izu popping out of the dimension, will take down Stax. 
Foxy9, how many times have you been here? And once again, it will be TY shutting him down. To go for the dimensional drift here. He's gonna spot a couple. Yeah. Get three. Goes out of their position. Goes for the flash. Oh, and he play. picks it up. Can he get the? Oh, he can't get the Phantom in time as Carpe swings back around. So a short-lived moment. Have guns, maybe. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Thirty but, seconds oh, Foxy left. Foxy Nine. He's got an opportunity. They're creeping in. He sees the barrel, but he actually misses a shot through the poison cloud. A bit mismanaged. Sees the gun barrel. Saya. Trying to just peek out off of that. Mako having a little fun. Time ticking down though, so Mako will just wait to see if he can take away all the weapons on the side of T1. Another down, but Excurit finally defending the arsenal of T1. Jeez, man. Mako doing what he can. Doing a lot better today, that's for sure. Got the taunts coming out online. The ultimates, a lot of them online for T1. Looks like they might look to pick up the tempo. Reckoning and Under Siri available. Buzz tries to land the shot. He gets the hit through the box. Rossi still healthy for the time being. Mako will pick him off, though. There's Under Siri to clear the site. Bane now going for the trade, but Carpe with yet another with the bow and arrow. And Izu will stabilize the site. Stax gets pinged. Has to wait for his teammate. Foxy9 has to arrive, but no. Once again, last alive. Not fast enough to keep up pace with T1. And his first. Opponent will be Izu, who takes him down. T1 leads 1-0 against DRX. in split, a little more comfort potentially for Bane on that omen, already setting up for maybe a paranoia push or something like that. Oh, and the dash in, the fake pressure here from T1. Now both of them get taken out very quickly before the main force can even enter onto B site. So this should be a pretty hard tell for DRX. The paranoia coming out, but they still haven't cleared the trap wire. Foxy9 good for one, he won't be able to hang on, but Mako will clear Carpe. Now, Excurit with 70 HP. The last one alive, trying to isolate more fights, and Buzz will find him right around the corner. A quick and easy pistol for DRX. Yeah, starting so far. The orb already taken in B main, and T1, they already put down the fake pressure, see if there's a reaction. They're trying to re-clear, but Mako, so clever about this. There is the ping, and that's the swing out one. Oh, he's not able to get the second, but Stax is there for the trade. Mako peeps right back up as he sees a little bit more of that fight going through. Rossi this time, the only one alive with the classic. It's going to be a flawless two Spectres, Extra three time here with his util selling this push towards A, keeping three players planted over towards B. He's really befuddled DRX right now. Now these smokes of this dash are gonna alert, alert them to the presence. Stax gets oh, the spot the, the kill. They still can't clear it. It's another kill for Stax. They just keep running in. And Stax really nice stuff here by him and Foxy. Foxy's utility playing the pivotal role to set Stacks and himself up to just smudge. I mean, that's one Uto traded as well. We'll see how DRX adapts if that ever comes through. Meanwhile, for now, it's a fast rush into ramps. Taking over that position, putting that pressure. Now dashing in for a pinch from mid, but the backup cut off by Mako. So now it's just a two duelist stranded on the side of A. Yizu gets taken out by the Trailblazer. And now everyone stuck in mid for the side of T1. Three members, a Stinger, a Sheriff, and a classic trying to walk into B site. Cloud Burst, that's all they've got to try to sneak in, trying to draw the attention away. And only Carpe remains. Only one kill for T1. DRX up four to zero. Now you gotta love the way it's gonna be a little bit tricky for T1 to navigate. The info game gonna be very, very important. Dash in. He actually tags him through the cloud Huge. burst as well. And DRX is all there. Mako for the crossfire. The camp never spotted. Absolute to 25 HP. One enemy remaining. Mako. I mean, Mako is just peeking up and down nonstop, switching ropes, keeping Excurit at bay, and then waiting for the peek out from Stax. It's a perfect hold by the veteran. Buzz is 5 0 and 0. Right, Stax also 7 0 and 3. Seekers online, so yet another tool to stop the aggression. And Mako's just ready for it. The double duelists can't find their footing. This time a staggered entry. First off kill going over to Buzz. Need to greet them. It's just an immovable object as Mako. A little bit of a jiggle peek. 
gets the attention. Now that's a great kill for Rossi. Okay, he used to run and gun. Upgrades to a Phantom. You know that the troops are here. Left. Absolutely. So Rossi just tried to clear this out. Uh, actually doesn't quite clear it in time. He'll just get picked off. <laughs> Mako finally dying. 11, 1, and 5. Oh, woe is him. And it's going to be a trap play with the Paranoia. Not going to find the kill, though. So the Showstopper will have to back out. This time encounter, Showstopper trying to push through. They know that he has to back out, but the Seekers will keep them at bay. They're still pushing through it. Stash will peek out with it. He gets two. And the entry just cannot happen for T1. Yeah, I think maybe Izu getting a little greedy with his counter rocket. He's not able to find any value. The they Seeker's think that it's only going to be Foxy Knight waiting. They're trying to push him out of his comfort spot. But there's a poison cloud. They'll get Foxy Knight. The trips are down. But Mako is here. Unbeknownst to the entire squad of T1, and he sprays down for the double. Just the op in hand, Asaya player. Can he get out of the round alive with this one? Bit of a spam, he dodges the bullets. He's running away, they're on the chase. Mako, he senses it. He wants to kill the cloud burst. He knows it's close. Asaya should be safe. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. <laughs> Setting up teammates at times to Help him if things get a little too spicy. Okay, it's just cutting the audio, creeping in with the paranoia, but the counter paranoia is there. Is it enough to allow Stax to get the kills? The Seekers come out and they line up behind their own cabbages. Stax will buy enough time for the teammates to arrive. Three V2. Shells come out, they should be landing. Excure it takes a big chunk too. But the timing's not in his favor as DRX, they slow creep into the site. He's gonna be looking up at Devin. He gets one, but Foxy9 already in the site. There's a cyber cage. And Saya player's actually gonna get the kill onto Foxy9 somehow. As we see the dash forward from Saya. Stuck in the cyber cage. Well, I mean, different. Yeah, what oh a way to try to regain some control is Izu. Still not regaining that confidence, the stability just yet. And Sia will fall to his doom once again in the pit as well. I mean, T1, they're trying to force their way in. But as you said, DRX, not just Mako, the entire team and immovable object for the time being as they are just getting pounced upon by Buzz. Oh, Buzz. I, this is... It's a rough game for T1. I mean, dude, Buzz. I mean, there he's he's left the cubby because he knows that they're going to chase all the way through. And the round win goes over, but he's aware of it. The wide Bane. swing from Bane! And it looks like another fast hit. All right, he's pushed through. The angle is good against the Toxic Screens to clear out vents as well. That's a subside player all the way into heaven. The From the Shadows to create backup for TRX. But Foxy9, a great one way to mask himself as he goes for three. Excurrent, unaware of where the shots are coming from. Another tagged as well up in heaven. And this Cypher setup, they just can't break through it. Rossi chasing down for the kill, but the Boomba will finish him off. And the backup has all arrived for DR. Line 0 10 0 right now. No impact, no value in this map, too. Not something you want. Out of your second duelist, out of your star rookie. Another setup onto heaven. But DRX is just reading through it. Izu finally logs on to a kill. Can he find the second? He still gets shut down by Foxy and I, but it's enough time bought. The site finally broken open. First time T1 will get a taste of the A site here. The pit world. goes up and Excurit is on the lurk. He's waiting for the wraparound. Spike if Excurit can get these kills, T1 might be on for another round in the first half. He's expecting two. Is oh, but he doesn't check at all. He's looking for a timing around ramp. No. Not taking into account at all sewers. And now Carpe and Rossi both in the pit. They don't really have too much of an option. Herpe checking for screens on the wraparound. Not sure if he would have caught him. But meanwhile, they're going to refill the pit. The paint shells come out. There's the pop flash. Seems like he did see him as he's trying to delay the jump down. But now they're swarming on. They've all landed on the site. The tap on the spike. They're trying to draw them out. Rossi in elbow. It's close range. He gets taken down. Carpe tries to find a timing before the pit goes down. And Buzz will finish it up. But will they have time? Last they oh. will not. Point two two sure. seconds. Seems to be another just full-on A hit. They're going to challenge this setup again. Oh, no, they haven't cleared the oh trip yet, though. They're actually going to chase down on Tamako. The kill with the Trailblazer, all of them flooding in. So finally, a bit of a switch up here from T1. 
and that's enough to throw them off. The Seekers trying to chase through over by mid. Meanwhile, B Evan getting swarmed. Rossi still on the lurk. He's waiting to try to capitalize against Buzz, but they hear that the operator was in B main. There's Showstopper. It's gonna land onto a double as Excurin also drops down from Evan. Gives another kill, and Foxy9 has arrived. Down to a 1v1. Aware of Rossi's position, it seems. The poison cloud. Does he go for a timing? He's gonna try to get both of them. Goes for elevation and Foxy9. Goes for the toxic screen. The backup's running forward. Is it gonna arrive in time? Mako. Evan will be filled. Mako, meanwhile, going to switch places with Saya player. T1 Carpe will be holding onto the site, but Saya player whips the shots. He's not able to get the kills. And that might be the call to rotate. Heaven now broken up. Stax just trying to make sure that he goes down to vents, trying to rotate over to B. It's going to be a quick backup from Excurit. Flanks around. Left. Paranoia at the ready. He just wants to lay them. He hears him running through. Paranoia, but it doesn't hit both. He gets one kill, but not the second. Stax jumping down. 3v2 for T1. Spike not planted yet. 15 seconds. This is a timing for them. Izu. Ooh, couple of shots. <laughs> Rossi, nice and clean right off the top. And T1 will get a third round win. Well, just what the doctor ordered for T1. Good stuff here by Carpe. Caught the elbow of a player. He's bringing forward to VCT Pacific. He's trying to force up a singular outlaw on the attacking side. Wild. T1, they don't have a sentinel. They're trying to push out. The outlaw gets one, but now T1, they find the trade. They're well aware of the outlaw that should change the positions they hold as well. Izu with a nice timing. Peek out as well, and the spray down for two. Zaya for a third, and it's just going to be Excurit with the Bulldog. Can they get the Vandal as well? Should be able to recover. Now found by DRX. Ahead of the smoke for Mako. So we'll see, Trailblazers are trying to clear mid. Meanwhile, Foxy Knight still holding onto sewers. The trips to check if there's a push out of A main. Excure it for now, all alone on the site on B. This poison cloud, they could be fanning out at any moment's notice. The paranoia is gonna be a quick fill from Rossi, but Buzz is one step ahead of him. Picks up one kill, Saya, can he go for a peek out? Oh, Buzz still clears out the site oh. though, and Saya player has to just run out to safety. Izu finding one corner Five around the sleep bite. Smoke clears, and now everybody right around B heaven for T1, but there's still the lurk from Foxy9. You still got stacks. Over by B main as well. So many angles to clear. Izu trying to find one. He finds both. They are aware of two people's position. He knows it's a crossfire. Izu goes for one, but no trade from his teammates as he gets taken out by Bane. Now the smoke, perfect to cover up Carpe as he's trying to peek out. He gets stuck and he realizes exactly what's going on. Two members on the site, 2v2. Still aware of the potential flank and the lurk around. Saya, he sees Foxy9, but the spy cam finds him. Time not on his side trying to go for the kill. He wants to save the operator. He wants to get a candy dash out in time. Is he saved? Barely right at the edge. Yeah. Good Rocco, round. so. Orb gonna be gathered. Now, getting the march towards mid. Smoke has to come out to cover. DRX. Oh, ooh, the op stationed on A takes out the lurk from Foxy9. They've already cleared B main. They got Seekers online. They pressured mid as well. They find the main force at Ramen and T1. Rossi and Carpe. Carpe waiting in the smoke. Should be dissipating soon. And there's the pop flash, but Buzz is slightly out of it. The Seekers to keep them at bay. Realizes that they're going to be stuck here at B main. One Seeker still trying to go towards mid. So they're well aware of the lurk as well. Mako has to back off for the time being. Only 30 seconds left on the clock. 30 seconds close. left. Very, very close shots. This is great anticipation. Okay. This gives Saya player the ability to learn. No way, Saya. That's a very risky, greedy position to be taking. He's still gonna try to peek out for another. I mean, this is very close range. There's one right click. He tries to go for another operator. And he's going to drop the operator, give it over to TRX. Maybe. I mean, T1 on the pinch. They don't want this to go for free, but it's not like they have a lot of creds. So they will just be waiting. Bane securing a free operator upgrade for Buzz. Farmer for Bane. Maybe saving that showstopper for another day. See if Buzz can do some damage. They did something out of the ordinary there. Gives him the oh, he misses! Goes right over Carpe's head. Now the up dropped as well. And the one hope that DRX had in this round, it might just give an opening for T1 to claw back. Two members still pressuring, but they will not greet for more space. They understand that they have secured this position. Ramp being taken over by Bane. 
The next duelist himself, can he get the off kill? He gets one, he's quick with it, but he chose his back. Mako there for the trade, and T1, what seemed like an absolutely unlosable round, starts slipping away from their grasp. I mean, I, it's, it's stack still away from the Seekers. Hoping. Look at him, he's, look, he's going proactive. Just looking for one extra kill as they have no idea where they are, and Mako finds it. Saya tries to turn the corner close, and now Rossi, just the judge, has to make noise if he wants to upgrade a weapon. Finds one close, but he knows that Mako's weak. He doesn't get the kill with the judge. Sitting there solid. Now the judge down in vents. Buzz, are you aware of it? There's the drop, and once again, the judge fails Rossi. No justice will be served tonight. The Saiya player fights for his lives, but it's too many members. Bane clears out ramp. 3v3 for DRX to try to take us to the deciding map of Bind. Spike will get planted. Ramp control, main control in favor of DRX. Spike planted. Izu gets through, finds one. Not able to turn around against Bane on that paranoia. Here's the from the shadows, so are you aware? Is he gonna finish that TP? He does! And Carpe recognizes it right away. There's a mural theft. Carpe, does he have an idea? They know where the cyber cage came from. He's trying to wait to try to paint Foxy9 for a peek. Still quite a bit of time on that spike. Carpe just waiting for the peek out. Looks like he's gonna go for the half. And Foxy9, he's gonna rush forward. He doesn't want the half to be done, he jumps. He's waiting to see, he hears that he's not sticking it. He hears the shot still coming through, and he's still jiggling, and he gets the kill through the wall! Foxy9! Shut it down. Absolutely. With the alt or even with the zero point, kind of buy yourself a little bit of extra time and space. Make it more uncomfortable. It's defender side, Foxy9. Oh, oh, what, what is that, Buzz? Right, right before all the utility comes up, Buzz just swings out. Finds one on a timing. Now with Carp. Garrett taking a page out of his brother's book here, using that high tide to sneak himself into a position to look for some frags potentially. But they're going to re-aggress on the showers area. Yeah, DRX, they want to clear it out. They know that time is running low, and there's a wide swing for Frost. He draws out all the crosshairs. Saya will stabilize with another kill, but are they aware that Buzz is holding close? Saya, this side has not been cleared just yet. He tries jumping, doesn't find it, and he goes for the jiggle, and Buzz finds the kill. Now, spike down in showers. Bane catching Excure from behind. It's just down to Izu, and he does not have enough time to go across for the spike. He realizes this, he's been left. spotted. He has to go for a pop flash, trying to eliminate everyone, but it's eventually gonna pop in his face, of course. Since that change, if it runs out of the timer, it will pop. That fake doesn't last for the entire time. Sneak yeah. bite. Cascade not exactly getting too much value as they're just trying to get a reaction. Zayas so pushed up close. You can still TP here, maybe. <laughs> just Barely enough time to know they're going to go for the play again. But there's the Mosh just trying to push them out, but Mako spike still down. sprays down for two, and the spike plant has been disrupted. Izu trying to stick for it one more time, and Bane will try to swing around. Spike does go down, but Izu, can he hold on to this area? As Saya player continues to pressure, he gets another kill with the Sheriff over by Showers. 2v2, and Izu has wrapped all the way around. Are they aware? They're not quite that sure, Bane. He still gets the kill. Half done, but now Saya. They realize enough time has passed, and they know that it has to be a flank. Woo! That's as close as it gets, though. DRX taking a ton of damage. You know, the, the good patience there from T1 really paying off. Going for the check again. He got the orb, so yeah. Buzz, that's oh. gonna give him the showstopper. Yeah, fires back. But this time he pays for it with his life, so no gecko once again. And now trying to creep through. Mako's ready for it with the ghost as well. A huge aid. So Snacks is ready for it. Buzz just trying to hold on to main. There's the showstopper. He finds him close, and it's going to be Snacks and Buzz, the duo. That cleans up the kills. All down to Saya player. One vandal left. He won't get to carry it over. And it's a flawless on the bonus for DRX. Be aware of this if they want to launch an exact set play onto the site. They're going to swarm it with all of the utility. There's a guiding light. There's the dizzy. But the molly lands right in front, and they just cannot move forward. They've been slowed down. They're all getting burned at the feet. And Buzz enters for another double kill. Still 
Carpe alive, picks up a Vandal. Wingman will get the plant, Mosh online. The IGL of T1. Keep him at bay, Carpe just going to give him the half. He's trying to go for a swing, but they're still sticking it. He thinks it's just going to be a fake off of the snake bite and the cyber cage. Not gonna find the shot, still gets taken out at the end. And he, at an angle against the Dizzy. Izu gets caught by the zero point. Mako does win oh. that battle. Yeah, it clears out showers as well. Meanwhile, I mean, T1, they're trying to give you a little bit of extra breathing room with space clearage. In fact, it's going to be actually the Bane smoke that's going to be used to set up that one way. Mako's just too good. Yeah, just keeping a timer as well. They want to keep T1 trapped. They don't want to give him an opportunity to try to take the TP. And T1's not going to get it as Buzz has arrived. They have to push the site. They have to clear out all the members of PRX. But Bane finds one. Mako a second, a third in the round. And Bane with another as well. Yet another flawless. You know, he just hold on to it on his own. Even set up for a retake with that cam. And the KO already arriving. Stacks here to help his teammates. They'll have to give up lamps, but not the most crucial of areas. But the flash oh. is good. And it's going to be the transfer over with the Stinger. Saya good for two. But it's going to be reclaiming the backside. The crash, he lets it pass. He's pushing forward. Stacks, he finds one. Can he find the Gecko? He's good for a triple. A quad. And he's on for the ace. The IGL of DRX. Spike. They know the objective, and Stax checking for the box. Cyber Cage comes out. Stax not wanting the ace, wants to secure the round, and Neven will give over the defuse to Foxy9. I was just about to say, we hadn't seen Thrash. We were five rounds in, and that's pretty rare. Back for a good tag, and Foxy9 is waiting for the trip. Stax made both of them get cleared. Seekers will identify them at T1. They're going to try to push through, but the Cyber Cage is good enough. Oh, he expects the wide swing, but he's just going to land the shot. And now the rest of the members of DRX, they have to hold on, but it's three members pushing elbow, but the Blast Pack does wonders. T1 still answering back, two to one in numbers. It's going to be Excurid and Rossi, the new members, the global members here for the Korean squad of T1 up against Mako, the Rock of Korea, trying to tap the defuse. Pushes up, and Rossi just gonna peek right back in from the toxic screen. It's going to be the kill actually going over to Excurit. All ults online now, including the showstopper. DRX have their pick on how they want to defend this site. Yeah, I'd really like to see a quick uh, ult command here from Stax. There's a ton of utility to try to barricade this push from T1. So they've stalled it out enough. Foxy starting to slide over a bit towards spawn. It's going to be the orbital strike that pushes them through, and then the showstopper to try to pinch, but Stax still staying alive, right gets a triple down right up against RX. And keeping Bane Ten over there as left. well. Seemed to work a treat. No real threat there for DRX. Yeah, Buzz doesn't land the showstopper, but it, it, it causes T1 to take a moment of pause and allow Stax to pick members off from behind tubes. So. Breaking crosshairs there probably as well. As people are looking for where the heck Buzz went. Like long range utility to contest that space and they just aren't seemingly comfortable to do so. The game plan seems to be more of a kind of execute heavy style and it's pretty well handled. Yeah, well there's the Dizzy and the Guiding Light, but Izu can't get far away enough from the trap wire in time. Saya not covering his back either. Rossi now finally there for the trade, but it's still a 4v3 it is, but backup has arrived. Backside filled up by Stax and Bane. Right here. Even Buzz getting prepared to rotate over. Once they hear the spike plant, he's looking to approach. There's the Dizzy, but they're ready for it. Spike it's going to be Foxy9 Cyber Keys that keeps remaining. them held, allowing Stax to get another double in this round. And Buzz will get the finisher. Eight. Might have been the team to take it down last year as well when T1 started to first introduce it and got some maps with it. But now obviously a bit of a different tempo, different roster on both sides. DRX this time just trying to hold on to backside. It's going to be the no command that destroys the showstopper, so keeps Mako safe. What a way to hold on to backside. Carpe noted in lamp. Saya player still hidden, trying to bait for the raise. Carpe just trying to draw out the attention. Mako, is he aware of it? He is. You just cannot fake out this guy. He's been through so many different rounds. And now a 5v4. Not the best weaponry for T1. Buzz. Down to six oh HP, but his job now just to draw aggro from Excure, keep him tied up as the members on T1 start to dwindle down one by one. Carpe putting down the Mosh early, wanted to make sure that the utility is there. He gets one kill against Foxy9. Now they try to swarm in against the same fight and they all get sprayed down by the Stinger. Finally, a second round for T1. For DRX, so now Operator 4, Buzz, 
able to buy RT1 off the win of that Eco. Oh, they're walking right into it. There's the trailers, and he doesn't bite. He waits for the extra memories. He goes oh. for a second. And Buzz shuts down the entire approach from Showers. He's still aiming for a third. Fox and I will pick up that kill as they get tagged by the Cypher Utah. Mako peeks out amongst the chaos, making sure to cover his teammates' backs. And in a blink of an eye, it's only Rossi with 35 HP and a dream. All five members of DRX left alive. Allows Stacks to still stay on the B site just in case. Trying to get over the strip bar. He gets tagged. He's afraid of the swarm coming in. Bane just drawing the attention. This is all so Buzz to try to get what seems like another showstopper. But Mako <laughs> says, uh uh, this is going to take too long. Cleans up the kill. Well, a valiant attempt for Rossi, That's but right. easy the game. showstopper there. But hey, you've been getting these free orbs. Getting a lot of showstoppers. Oh, T1 finally wanted to punish it, but it might just be a little too late. They get zero point in. Trying to go for that pop flash. The fragment. Now the showstopper. Does he see him? Not quite. Just has to wait. This really wants to get the skill. He wants to see. Oh, you're in the corner. Welcome over back to the B site. I mean, this. So long, and he's been so darn good at it. He's just right in his wheelhouse. He's got a couple players oh. coming at him, but they get the, they get the, the spot. timing. Are you kidding? I mean, you just imagine because the screen's up for so long and you see nothing on B. Is this truly a push? How does he get the tag? But it's all enough to keep Mako alive. 30 Foxy HP, he'll now back up. Bane has arrived, and so is Foxy9. Goes for the spray. Carpe down to 3 HP. Carpe trying to plant with the wingman. Rossi's going to spray as the dizzy tags. Rossi trying to open up the site, trying to bring home just one more round. And Carpe and Excure will both get another buzz. Now all have a different idea. Oh, he's out just a little too early. And that's going to be Carpe taking down first. But the swing out. All right, Buzz gets three. And Rossi will answer right back for a 9 to 3 score. And this is one of the. Right, this default yep. that T1's been bringing out, they kind of jiggle back and forth around the high tide. Spirit waiting for it. He's good for one. He expects another, but it's going to be three. And he's not able to clean up the rest of the kill. Stacks and Buzz, they won't push their luck any further. And they re peek, but a quick TP Spike in from down. side player. Sight spikes down. So T1 playing it a little bit close to the vest, but now they're starting to push oh, out. I mean, this is just a timing oh, read on both sides. DRX trying to check if they push through, and Mako will turn around in time. Oh. And that's TP. Saya with a frenzy, it's just in range. Woo. And a triple for the duelists as they get four on the board for T1. Packer side. Oh, very aggressive, high, low setup right on each side of the toxic screen. Waits for the counter peak, and it's going to be Carpet side player, good for one side player. Now continue on with two, he still stays alive with six HP. Tries to check for showers as they get pushed, but it's going to be just Foxy9 left alive. Execure will clean it up. It's going to be a He's going to hold here, maybe until the execute comes through. See if he can there. catch him a little off guard in the timings. Yeah, it could also be something to maybe pressure DRX on the execute. And it looks like it's just going to come right through from DRX. Oh. And Buzz finds Rossi right above the high tide. He's trying to look for more, just being the scout for his teammates. The pop flash will keep them at bay, but Bane still gets one. Excure it, trying to stay desperately alive. He eventually goes down. And now just Saya player and Carpe. Saya player holding on to Hookah. Carpe, he's got Foxy 9 behind him. Doesn't have as much time as he thinks he does. Needs to find this first kill. It's trying to check for utility. Cubby. Yeah. A lot to work with. Eight sound, but there, that's just enough time as he backs out for the Dizzy. Right Boxing. back. Felt like it might be a little bit dicey, but that early position from Buzz on top of that shed is just never accounted for. Fight T1. Nobody's even looking up there. And now not squandering this opportunity. It's going to be an early orb for Team 1. Trying to push out. Just going for dry contact. And they will get one. Trying for the pop flash. It's enough just to buy time. No, it's not. Buzz catches them on the exit. T1 perhaps trying to greet for yet another kill. That's the oh. of them. And Buzz, he's now in the flow state. Gets a triple kill. Trying to open up the site all on his own. Calls for Bane. Calls for Spike. Meanwhile, Mako still opening mates A site in case he gets stopped. One on the entry, remaining. look at this. Bane still holding right by, but it doesn't matter. It's just kills across the map. And 11 to 5 for DRX. Off of it for T1. They're holding close on guard, and Carpe gets spotted. This is going to be enough here for Izu. The pop flash, pop flash comes through Izu, but it's only a Guardian. He can't get the second kill. Carpe will equalize things. Now a 4 to 3 lead in members. That's a great adjustment here by T1. Shutting oh, down. Trying to keep it quiet. Now we'll see if 
they can get through unspotted. They're already in the entrance. Carpe senses something, perhaps a jumpy catching a glimpse on the way down. The Dizzy and then the Thrash to keep them tied up. Spike One's been down. detained. Foxy and I hiding in and out of the cyber cage, but that's going to be enough. The orb now picked up left. by Mako, recognizing that the round is already lost. Just wants to get closer to the Viper's pit. We'll look at the creds. Well enough for GRX, so Mako just looking to see if he can get a kill, and he does, and that's the Viper's Pit now online for Mako. That's the best he could hope for. And any economic damage he can do there is great. Put some pressure over to B. Rossi wants to check for it. The trade's gonna be there. Saya thinks it's the main force, but it's not. And so now it's just it's the pit around lamps. Reckoning to start to push them out. This should give Izu an opportunity to pinch in for A short as well. GRX bouncing back and forth within their own Viper's pit. Izu couldn't find the kill onto Mako. And now it's all coming from one side. TR is well aware of this possibility. The spray's coming through, but it's just about keeping the Viper alive. Carpe stuck in lamps. He gets spotted in the last second as Buzz secures the kill. Stacks, DRX, all of DRX coming through. They take down Saya player. And it's just one member of Excurit who could not find an opening in. Will have to be a save. And that will give match point over to DRX. Just tremendous work here by DRX. They uh, want to drag this out into a late night of overtime. They've taken aggressive showers control, but Foxy and I well aware of this. Looking for the peaks. He's just trying to draw them out one by one. He will catch one. That's the raise down, but showers still in control by Rossi. This time, Laser finds nothing. Stacks just looking to buy time and lamps. The rest of his teammates setting up in heaven. Stacks, if he can get a kill here, it might as well secure the entire map, and he gets it. T1, they still have so much to clear. They have to push out. Excure will answer back, but it's just two members against three. Util still in the hands of DRI. Somali lands, and Rossi goes down. And Excure is the last one standing, but he will fall to the IGL of DRX. And DRX says once again, we 